how do we uh, balance ministry and our personal life? How do you, well, tell me how. I, no. <laughs> I'd like to learn. Um, um, that's an interesting question. I, I, I am, and, and I think that if you ask 10 pastors, you'll probably get 10 nuanced answers because every one of us probably would see different applications of our, of our lives and our ministry and things like that. So I can only give my perspective on that. My perspective as it pertains to balancing what is called a ministry and a personal life is I don't have a personal life. I never really have. I have a life that is ministry. Because, listen, do you stop ministering at home? No. Do you stop ministering when you're a, a son to parents? No. No, I still was a minister to my parents when I lived under their roof and I was yet to be married. I taught them Bible studies. I was a model of Christianity to them. I, I counseled them. You know, as, as a, a 20, 21, 22-year-old man, I counseled my parents because I had become saved and got in the Word of God, and then I became the Bible study teacher. So I was always a minister. When I met Marie, I was a minister as her boyfriend. When we got married, I was her minister as her husband. When we had children, I'm a minister to my children. I've never been anything but a minister because I don't believe uh, on a personal level that I have the David Rosales, just regular guy, and the David Rosales, who is the pastor. David Rosales is always a pastor, whether it's at home, whether it's in a store, whether it's driving. I'm not a good pastor when I drive, but when I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> and um, always, see, so I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not one who compartmentalizes. I'm one who is more holistic in that. I'm always a pastor um, at all times because that's my calling and that's, that's just who I am, you know. And so I've never had that real problem. I never have because I just am who I am and I am always... That, that, that uh, you know, Marie and I will be driving and, um, and we're talking about things of the Lord, always. Uh, you know, if it's not our children, it, it's going to be our church. And we, at home, you know, that's what I was just mentioning in our conversation tonight. You know, she sits next to me. She's reading a devotional thought to me from Spurgeon. And we're talking about that. And then I'm sharing with her, that's our life. So that's who we are. When we have our friends, when we're hanging around with our friends, it's always, I'm always pastor, always am. I'm never just Dave, one of the guys. When I played sports, when I, I played sports, uh, my first, uh, one of my first ministries in a church was I was played on the softball team for the church that I was becoming the assistant pastor in. I was the chaplain on the team. So even as the team chaplain, I was always, even playing sports, a minister. See, so he called us to be ministers, every one of us, and we minister wherever it is that we are. And I think it would change your home a lot. I know, if you're married, I guarantee you, it would change your home if you saw yourself as a minister in that home. I guarantee you, it'll change your whole home life, changes it, because you know that it's your responsibility, and I'll speak as a man to other men, and as a husband to other husbands, a son to to other sons, that you have ministry in your home. You always do. You always do. How, how was it possible for me at the age of 23 to minister to a father who was 47? How does that happen? How can a young man who's only two and a half years old in Christ teach his own father how to live for God? How's that happen? It happens because that young man took it seriously. And my father saw that, and he said, there's been some changes in this man, and I can trust him because I've seen what God has done in him. So that began when I was a young man, and that has stayed to this day. So I'm always a pastor, always. It's kind of like what Tozer said, like be, there's dividing between the sacred and the secular, and mm -hmm. they actually are fused together. That's right. Yeah, I taught Tozer that. <laughs> <laughs>